Hey world guys, it's Fish here and welcome back to some more Road to Rome Total War 2. Uh, basically, when we last left off, we were besieging, uh, well, yeah, we, no, we actually took this settlement from the uh, from the Spanish, which was awesome. Um, I can't even remember. I, I swear I did it like a few days ago as well, and I cannot remember fighting that battle. But clearly I did, and it must have been a fairly... Oh no, they sallied forth, didn't they? Yeah, they sallied forth, and we absolutely annihilated them. Um, we are also besieging this place in Carthage. Uh, we have loads of money. Uh, we were also just preparing ourselves for the Civil War. So I guess I should start building like big old armies, like just urban cohort armies, which will just annihilate everyone. So if I just build like a set of urban cohorts there, can I even build urbans here? I can. Because urbans will just slaughter everything. I, I doubt these, uh, these, I mean, I bet you a few of these armies are literally just pre marion armies. So... Like, that's going to be too hard to slice through. I'm going to actually pick myself up a spider. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and grab a arena there. Or, um, I guess it would be more of an amphitheater. They fought like in Capua in the Spartacus series. It was actually an amphitheater. Not a, um, not a, uh, arena. So, we'll go ahead and pick that up. Where was I sending this guy? He sort of was just chilling here. Uh, by the looks of it, I brought him over by boat. But why would I bring him over by boat? I guess I brought him over from Salona. I guess, yeah, I'll send him there. Maybe that's where I was sending him. He can go uh, govern that city. Yeah, I think the majority of my places now have uh, governors in. Which is also a big old rebel army there. Um, yeah, I think the majority of them do actually have people in, which is good. It'll help morale. It'll keep the places a little bit more happy. I mean, it's a few of my outskirting places over here which don't. But I can hopefully soon fix it out when I get a, an excess of generals. And he's going to go in there and hopefully fucking stop building me auxiliary troops. <laughs> I mean, I guess I can start... They'll be kind of useful when the Civil War happens. I'll need every every man I can get um, when I have to fight all these armies. So, yeah, we've got the urbans building there. Do we have any missile troops we can build here? I mean, we could just build Praetorians over there. Urbans are the best, aren't they? Oh, Praetorians are good, but they're not as good as urbans, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, urbans are better. Which is kind of stupid considering they were actually just firefighters in real life. Uh, which is always kind of funny. Um, let's go ahead and get a practice range. I want to start spamming out a few archers because I, I know how deadly archers can be. We're going to continue besieging this place because, I mean, it's not like we have to, like, nothing's going to come and save them. They've just got that army. The longer we wait, the more starved they get. The, like, they actually have to start eating each other and eating the horses and stuff. So, um, and eating the rats. Like, we don't have to do anything to the Carthaginians. No one's going to come save them. So we can just sort of sit around, let our money grow, keep building the uh, keep building the military buildings. Oh, he got married. How I'm happy for him at 27. Took him a while to find someone, but I'm glad he finally did find someone. Uh, loads of stuff still, which is good. Where was the barracks built? Over here. Uh, oh, no, it's just repaired. That's fine. Let's go ahead and replenish our entire army. That'd be good. Uh, yeah, that'd be very, very nice. And I'm going to go ahead and build a crop rotation there. Because that'll start giving me a bit more money, which will be nice. I mean, it's already making me a profit, which is lovely. Keep on in in return. Like, we are not, we don't have to do anything. The Spanish will probably super peace now, but I'm going to just annihilate them. And the Carthaginian forces uh, deplete turn after turn, which is just lovely. And we're just getting more and more money. Ooh, this is the expansion. Let's go ahead and expand there. Yeah, another uh, interesting fact, well not interesting, but another quite like a, a fun fact. Basically, um, when if you don't uh, if you don't upgrade your cities, they'll actually be they'll actually, they'll actually like create unhappiness because they want to be growing and there's just too many people and uh, I guess the government isn't big enough for it or there's not enough space or something. So you just want to always keep on upgrading when you can, otherwise your people will get kind of pissy, which is never good. But that's all almost built, which is hopefully make them happy i'm just gonna lower the tax i mean it's making me a lot of money anyway and we'll go ahead and get a forum afterwards um any places that's building me an academy and that's building me an academy as well i'm not quite sure why i was building so many academies but i was so that's all good uh, my practice range is almost done one more turn i'm gonna sneeze i can just tell it yeah i'm gonna sneeze apologies <coughs> <coughs> That's much better. Sorry uh, for my sneezings. Um, let's go ahead and re-recruit them guys. Let's have full numbers in our, in our units. Uh, let's, uh, I guess I could get an armory. Let's just go ahead and get another crop field. Um, 
I don't think there's any point really building stone walls on these cities. I mean, these cities, I should like definitely be building the best walls possible because that's going to be in direct uh, fire against the um, against the Scipii. So these these guys need to have the best walls possible, like most certainly, and the best best uh, barracks. I mean, best blacksmith possible as well would be very very useful. Over here, their time turns near. We'll keep on upgrading these guys. It's silver. It's sword and shield, isn't it? Yeah, it's upgrading them sword and shield. It's not upgrading them uh, for man. I guess we can't even build. Why can't we build them? We're going to pick up some archers then, I think. I think an archers will be a nice addition to that army. Spain is just not going to really do anything. They must have... Ooh, the Cretans are moving. I wonder where they're going. Three turns till they're, they're screwed. Lost a bit of money there. That's fine. We built a load of stuff. Like, so much stuff has been built and repaired. Some archers have been built, which is nice. Yeah, we've got some archers. Let's go ahead and pick up some ballistas. And we'll go ahead and recruit the rest of them then there. And, yeah, ballistas. What we're, what we're going to actually have to do is get some ballistas. I'm going to get some more archers, obviously. Um, and then we're going to have to leave a little garrison there to keep them happy. Because uh, this place down here is actually unhappy, which is unfortunate. And uh, here's daily games already. Let's go ahead and get a public bath. That, Yeah, let's go ahead and get a public bath. That should hopefully sort out happiness there. They're happy, but I guess they got Praetorian, Praetorians there to keep them happy. Yeah, I don't actually... Oh, I have another general. He'll be leading the armies, I guess. Yeah, I need to have a few generals actually left in Rome so I can actually make stacks of armies. Because at the moment, I've kind of run out of family members, which is sad indeed. Just need to keep on double-checking all these places. Um, constantly building. Like, that that wall will really be nice if the Bruti are... Because that's going to be the main attack point. If they attack this city, then it has the best walls, which will just be awesome. And I can just start stacking it with archers and, yeah, all that good stuff. We'll go ahead and pick up a few troops just here. Not, not loads, but a few. I guess just really upgrade. Well, I can't even upgrade that city, which sucks. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's gonna be weird. I don't know where they're gonna attack from because I can like just storm the whole of Greece with uh, with a like one legion. Like they have literally nothing here, so I can take the whole of Greece with one legion, which is fine, and then start pushing up. It's just killing these armies, which will be the problem. That'll be the problem indeed. I mean, taking Rome won't be too hard. I mean, well, yeah, it's actually taking Rome won't be hard, but fighting. This army will be, I don't know, it'll be relatively hard. I mean, like, these armies without generals will just rout instantly. They won't even be a problem, which is fine. And then, obviously, when our walls are built in a couple of turns, that'll be all be good. I mean, we can raise tax a little bit there. And they stay relatively happy as well, which is nice. No, I can't do it there. But still, yeah, a bit more money. It's nothing to be sniffed at. The British are just not doing it all, the Britons. They've just got two full stacks here. They're kind of, kind of like, stuck here or something. Which is good for me because I hope maybe it's because I'm proceeding there. I don't know, they're getting men over fine. I don't know why they're just staying there, but that's good for me. I mean, I've got a little four station there, but that won't be able to hold that full, two full stacks, I'm pretty sure. Oh no, what we got? What is it, just disease? When that's, that city's on lockdown, no one's allowed to leave that city because <laughs> I don't want them to die. Shh. That's all good. Okay. Carthage, yeah, they're losing so many men. Like, these are on 180 at one point, or 150, one or the other. Uh, ballistas are built. Let's go ahead and get some auxiliary. We'll leave two auxiliary there. Hopefully, that'll keep everyone happy. The crop's almost done. We'll go ahead and build an arena there as well. Hopefully, that will keep everyone happy. Uh, yes, we do need generals. Public loyalty, that's always good in someone. I don't care about the Senate. They can suck a big fat D. Uh, Town Grove. Awesome. Let's go ahead and upgrade that city. It just means we can get stuff to make them happy and we we can tax some more. So it's always good. Population. I mean, popularity falls with the Senate. No one really cares because it's the Senate. Uh, where is this place? Oh, no, it's fine. I'm building an arena there as well, so everyone should be happy. One turn to they surrender, so we're either going to eliminate them through starvation. I'm surprised this place isn't come up in arms against me or something um yeah so this term they're gonna have to yeah we just occupied it lol uh they happy no let's enslave um enslave the carthaginian people why is this place rioting i gave you a nice new oh god why are you saying it 
Oh my god, no, he died out in the, in the snowy mist. I feel sorry for him. He had to deal with when he died. He was nowhere nowhere near his family. How sad. Town grows. Huzzah. Right, let's go and upgrade that and retrain the troops. End of turn. We're making money. More disease. Uh, who's our new faction leader? Where even are you? He's the thinker, apparently. Lovely. Let's go ahead and send you back. Actually, no. He's actually keeping that place very happy. So, we'll go ahead and leave him there for the meantime. What? Where is it? Yeah, he's in the rest of him. Okay, cool. Uh, we need, I want to move out one of these generals just to go and garrison a few of my cities. I don't know. Actually, I'm going to have a standing up. Whoa. What are they doing? What are they doing? Oh, shit. They're going to war with the Numidians. That's not good for me. Well, actually, no. It could be good for me. It could not be good for me. It means a lot of their armies will be fighting. But this is not good for me. It means it's spreading a lot of their troops. Fuck. Uh, okay, that's place. Oh, that's diseased as well. Fucking hell, it's so gay. Or annoying, I should say. Yeah, that is really annoying that they're all ill. Because it means just a lot of them will die. And I'm not sure if this place can even recruit them. It can, so that's good. But it's annoying that, yeah, I'm just losing men for no reason. It's kind of annoying. Let's go ahead and move out this army. Get this army to back off. Now, how unhappy is this place going to get? Not that unhappy. That is good for me. That is very good for me. So what we're probably going to do with this army um, is move it all the way up here. Probably take this place in northern Spain. And then when this is not diseased anymore, we'll move over here and uh, take out this city. And then that's the whole of Spain taken. Also, I've just noticed that the music is extremely extremely quiet I don't know if it's been quiet the entire episode but I have literally just noticed it when I came back how weird hmm oh well the music's so, so nice as well in Rome so that's always cool rioting in this place oh no what the general died did he die in the rioting or what that is not good if he did city grows let's go and upgrade that bad boy uh, where the armies are going, this just scares me. Like, what <laughs> if I declare war on Rome, I'm gonna have to get through all of this. Technically, the Scipii and the Bruti have just declared war on Rome on the Republic because they've just crossed the river. So technically, they're at war with them. But oh well. Uh, so yeah, they're fighting the Numidians. Where are the Numidians' armies? When they were fighting me, they had like 700 stacks. So I just call bullshit, man. Oh, I just bought, got Praetorian Guard somewhere. That's interesting. Did not realise we could get Praetorian Guard. Let's go and disband them. I'm sure we can get another better infantry. We'll go and, go and get some Spanish mercenaries. So we'll go ahead and finish this guy up. He shouldn't be. Clear victory. Obviously, he is dead. Let's go ahead and just march forward now. This place is rioting because they lost their general, which is just stupid. Uh, let's go ahead and build a public bath there. And retrain all of these dudes. So we've got all there. So yeah, they should hopefully retrain by next turn. We don't have any generals around either to lead the armies. So I guess we're just going to have to prove himself in battle. By the looks of it. Does this have many generals? No, it used to have loads of generals. I've still got a unit of Astarte there as well. Let's go to end the turn. Let's see what shit goes down. Whole time just... Oh well... Should I keep? I might as well just take this out now then. Like, yeah, and just keep on re keep on replenishing the people here. I mean, they stopped rioting now, which is always nice. So yeah, we'll go ahead and just repair all of them. Another place is growing. All my places are growing a lot. I guess because I've been enslaved by a few places recently. Uh, they're all doing that. It's being really jumpy as well. I'm not sure why. A chance for power. Our population among the people in Rome is unmatched. The, pe the plebeians would welcome the new saviour of Rome. Should you choose to march on the city now is the time to deal with the old man of the Senate and the uh, allies that skulk al alongside them. So yeah, we can now go to war with Rome. I'm not sure now <laughs> is the best best, uh, best time to go to war when I've got enemy armies like everywhere. 
we're going to do though is we're going to prepare for the war and as soon as Spain is taken out we will bring back all our armies and yeah we'll go ahead and finish them up. Why is it being so stupid? It's, look it's just lagging like on this. I'm going to stop recording and hopefully try to sort this out because this is stupid. Okay guys so I closed a few programs hopefully that sorted it out because like that was stupidly laggy. Oh uh, yeah, so we need to build troops everywhere now. We just need to get a barracks in every place and just prepare because the Brucey I are going to come down very hard on me. So yeah, let's build as many troops as we can everywhere. I mean, this place doesn't even have a general, which is going to be very awkward. I might have to just move a general up to the front lines. It's worth it moving a general there. Uh, I also need to... Can I build any legionaries here? I can't. That sucks. What about up here? Because I need to start building... I can't do it here either. I can hardly do it. I need to get some walls there as well. Because um, I want to just take out, because I can take out the whole of Greece so quickly, it, like it's not even funny. I can absolutely just blitzkrieg that. Um, Massilia doesn't have plague anymore, which is nice. I can get some of these dudes. They're so funny. They're literally the worst. Well, they're not bad. They're not actually that bad. They just turn invisible and then be pretty much fucked. Uh, I can get Praetorians. I don't really want Praetorians though. I just want basic light le legionaries. That will do me fine. But by the looks of it, I can't actually build them anywhere. I can build them like all in Spain. I need to start marching the army back from Spain as well. Like, yeah, I can need to start. I can actually build them over here, can't I? Uh, yeah. Just spam out as many as freaking possible. We need to build legion upon legion upon legion. If they're already legionaries, they're already legionaries. That is fine. I just need men, basically, to fight in my war. Can't do it there, we'll build a barracks there, and then we should be able to, oh shit, I just lose, so I used like 20 grand in that turn, holy crap, that was a lot, uh, yeah, we need as many generals as physically possible, what even is this, Suggester by the looks of it, yeah, we've got another general here, which is nice, their armies are still just sort of chilling, so we need to be careful, like, if we go to war, they could just completely wreck us, somewhere's flooding, I didn't quite see where, Oh, this place is built a government place. Let's go and get a good bath and a bit of... Uh, this is getting charged very high taxes and they're still extremely happy. That is brilliant. We will leave it like that. Uh, yeah, so we want to we wanna move people out of here as soon as possible, really. As soon as everyone's replenished, which they are. Just shitty mercenaries we don't care about. Go ahead and disband them. We'll go ahead and build some auxiliaries and hopefully we can move that because that's an entire stack of fairly experienced troops. Like these archers are really experienced. Uh, this legion will go over there, which is beautiful. Every place is only every other place is relatively happy, which is good. Just just building the armies. The auxiliaries can actually come back. They can actually do something. Hopefully we can just bypass these. Uh, but looks like we're gonna, we're just gonna have to fight this. Clear victory, obviously. I'm not sure why he suddenly popped up, but he did. <laughs> See you later. Uh, let's go ahead and merge these now, and yeah, they can start moving back. I mean, they'll just, they're just be men, like, because they're going to be attacking me everywhere. So as long as I just have, like, full stacks, like, whether they're good troops or bad troops, they can I can just absorb the, the yeah, I can just absorb their troops. I think that's my thinking behind it, at least. Uh, barracks is a building in both of these places. Pontus has been destroyed. Who has Pontus been destroyed by? That's the question. By the Egyptians, by the looks of it. Yeah, the Egyptians have just gone man mode and absolutely annihilated everything. Uh, stone walls built in places. That's really good. I mean, yeah, I've still got a few more turns. Oh, we can, yeah, we can just proceed straight away. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and fight it because we haven't had the battle in like probably about 15 minutes, and of course we want battles. Um, so yeah, I'm actually really enjoying Rome at the moment, like I'm actually starting to, because after I took a break from like just doing huge videos on YouTube, I literally didn't make a video for like two weeks, um, I'm actually lo I actually look forward to making a video again now, like before it was like, it, it felt kind of like a chore, and now, yeah, I'm really enjoying it, and I'm really enjoying seeing what you guys think of my videos, like given like, uh, when I upload them, like I, I'm really keen to see what you, if you guys like them or not, um, yeah, I, I actually look forward to it. Um, so after, I think after I have done, um, after I've done this Rome Let's Play, I think I'm going to go and play, uh, Romus Erectum, uh, yeah, I'm going to play Romus Erectum.
because I mean I've played that mod loads and loads of times before, so I think I'm about let's playing it because uh, the custom city looks really really cool, and yeah, it's just something it's something I've always thought about um about Total War games how sieges are just like you don't lose many men in sieges at all, like it's kind of just like you lose as many men in a siege as you would in a in um in in a land battle which is just stupid because obviously you'd lose so many more men in a siege like i think that's something that they're taking a pounding i think that's something that um the creative assembly are attending in the the next episode the next series in rome 2 but i think what they should do is just make it so that you do end up losing a lot of men in a siege that you actually need to have more men otherwise you're just not gonna succeed uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and move up our first line. We don't need these dudes, they can have a break. Let's go ahead and move the legions in. We'll go ahead and march them forward. Get ready and we'll go ahead and blow down this gate as well. The archers will obviously fire overhead. Hopefully doing a bit of damage to these horses. We're well, not even horses, these are bull warriors. These, these, are, these good men are good. Like, they're really, really strong. Which is kind of scary. But apart from that, they only have peasants. Like, the bull warriors are their only scary unit there. And they're taking a pounding from archer fire, so that's all good. I'm going to move up my general as well, just to obviously keep morale relatively high. Yeah, so the bull warriors have lost about 60 men, which is really good for me. Like, that's perfect that they've lost that many men. I'm going to actually move, wait, leave these people here. Just so that as soon as that breaks down, we can actually push on. So now our men have actually come up. We need to form up. Let's form up legions over there. As soon as this breaks down, we'll go ahead and uh, move up the rest of them. The archers can also commence, uh, get a little bit closer. Oh, are they actually going to charge me? Oh, it looks like they are. Well, they've just absolutely screwed themselves. Like, it's, these men just come running through here. Yeah, they're already routing. Oh, that's probably the peasants routing. I doubt the bull. Yeah, the bull warriors have obviously not routed. The bull warriors will fight, I assume, for a long, long time. But yeah, they're just absolutely... <laughs> they're all going to die. Yeah, the bull warriors actually did route. How sad. But yeah, these guys are just going to look at their numbers full. They just wedge themselves in to hell. I feel very sorry for them. As long as we kill all the bull warriors, like, I don't want to have to fight them. And now we can just march up to the city centre and take it. There's literally nothing stopping me now. The rest of these men can just sit outside the city. Like, there's no point wasting more men than I need to. That should be plenty. Archers can hold fire. I guess if I didn't want to waste as many men, like I could just move up my archers and just shoot them to death, but that would just be silly. I want to see what it looks like as well as our men march if I select someone else. I guess the graphics aren't exactly that good. But, <laughs> like, just watching our legionaries, our legions move with their pointy legs, so I forgot to change the graphics back. But I'm not going to change the graphics during this episode because it would just do that funny weird thing with the recording and just fuck up. So what they got? They got peasants and my general and some just some town militia. So yeah, this isn't going to be hard at all. We're just going to slowly march up, I think. I mean, we have so many men as well. Even if our general dies, I'm pretty sure we can still take this. Did we kill a few of our enemies? <laughs> the looks of it, uh, our, our siege equipment did actually hit. Um, that's something awesome I'm looking forward to in Rome too. Hopefully they implement like a, a good amount of siege equipment for Romans. Because the Romans like always have like a uh, an artillery like unit with them. They always had artillery. Uh, like they, whether it was like light ballistas or catapults or whatever they had. They always had it normally when the legion moved. So it was normally obviously a lot slower. So it was always if they got ambushed or something they wouldn't have it. But they'd normally have it when they went into battle. So I hope they actually do like implement like a good siege equipment because at the moment like siege equipment isn't worth taking. I only take it because it's easy to break down, uh, break down walls. But yeah, if I was in a land battle, I wouldn't bother taking it ever. 
So yeah, let's go and just tell them to click. As long as they attack the the general, like as soon as we kill the general. Well, it's not even even not even as soon as we kill the general because they'll fight to the last man because they're on the t the city center. But as long as we kill the the towards these guys, everyone can just charge in. Hopefully, we can kill them. Hopefully, my general doesn't die. If my general would die, that'd be so awkward. We just need to start. Obviously, we got wasted numbers, but their general is just gonna slaughter for my men. Like it's so stupid how good they are. But hopefully, they don't stand a chance. As long as we keep on blowing that horn, I mean, we've got a lot of their men held up, and I mean, we've got Praetorian Cav. There you go, general's dead. The king as well. Uh, yeah, let's let's let them throw their peeler because if we release our peeler. These guys can take the, the brunt of it whilst the peeler comes in. And we will block out the summer peeler, hopefully. I'm not quite sure what they're fighting, but they're fighting something. Yeah, I don't want them to throw peeler because it'll be so much. So, but I don't see that they're not go Oh, fuck. Oh, I'm such a noob. Yeah, it would have been much better to live. There you go, there the peeler goes. To be honest, it wasn't really worth it letting my general die. Now I don't have a general. Yeah, now I don't actually have a general in Spain. So that is very awkward. Very awkward indeed. The music's a little bit loud. Well, for me at least. Uh, audio. Music down just a little bit. Yeah. We're obviously going to win this. There's no way that. Well, I, I hope there'd be no way that town militia and uh, and peasants could make four or five units of legionary cohorts route, but who knows? The morale in this game is kind of silly. Yeah, they're just going to get absolutely slaughtered. They don't, they don't stand a chance. Yeah. yeah, they're just getting absolutely pushed back and the city centre will be ours very soon. I'm surprised how long we're actually like they're actually staying alive, because I mean this is on triple speed and they're still alive. Spawn to shoot up. Yeah, but yeah, there's only what 22 of them left. There you go, end battle. Victory. We lost 140 men. Just it's a shame that one of them 140 were my general. Uh, exterminate the population. Fuck them for killing my general. Message from the Senate. Go and die.